Hello and welcome to this quick video. This quick video is about this thing here. Now this is the Miniware TS-80P soldering iron uh, powered by a USB connection and it looks very similar to something you may have seen before on the channel and that's because I've got its baby brother. Now this is the T. S80. Now I've had this for quite a long time, again powered by USB, little OLED display in the middle, uh, heats up really quickly, has the same, exactly the same actually, uh, tips, uh, so they're kind of interchangeable. Uh, this one you can see, uh, if the camera will focus, this one gets used a lot. Uh, it's perfect for the kind of little jobs um, now you can get different tips for this. Uh, I haven't invested in any others myself because this little fine tip is brilliant for doing PCBs, flight controllers and stuff like that. So this new one has several differences or improvements I guess over the original one. You probably spotted the first one. You have this little ejector here that allows you to pop the end out. Now that means that even if the end is hot you can actually pop it out and pop uh, another end in. Again, you can buy different ends, uh, ones that have a like, spade connection and things for XT60s and others. Uh, so while I unbox this, let me very quickly go through the specs. So temperature range on this is 100 to 400 degrees max. Uh, the input on this new one, this TS80P, is 9 volts at 2 amps or 12 volts at 2.5 amps. So it's a 30 watt soldering iron, that's an increase from 18 watts from the original. It's got a very fast heating time, it'll take it from room temperature to about 300 degrees C in around 8 seconds. Data and power interface at the back is USB type C, that's obviously where you plug the power in, but you can also plug it in and upgrade the firmware quite easily on it too. Length is about 96 millimeters. The tip will be 60 to 40 millimeters, depending which one you have. It's a really nice weight. It's made from aluminium and weighs about 38 grams for the iron itself and about 14 grams for the small tip that I've got here. So I thought it was worthwhile mentioning this uh, because I am still using my original TS80. It is a fantastic soldering iron. As you saw there, um, there's lots of extras that come with the new one. When I got this one I then had to go out and find a big power adapter buy myself a big long cable so that I could use it however with the new one uh, as you probably spotted the only other difference is it actually comes with a power brick the cable and uh, a little clip if you wanted to ground your piece of work out so this new improved iron shares an awful lot of things with the original. Um, first and foremost is it's made of aluminium. It feels really nice in the hands. It's a really beautifully weighted little soldering iron and is very good, particularly for these little fine jobs if you have this very, very sharp point. It is well made. I like the fact the firmware is upgradable. And I like the fact that it's very, very quick to heat up. If you realize you need a little soldering job done, then 10 seconds after you plug this thing in, you can be melting the solder and sorting that joint out. The differences on this soldering iron then, if we can summarize it, are first of all, this is a 30 watt soldering iron, not 18. We get the power brick with it and the cables as well. And the last thing, of course, is that the tip has the ejector in, uh, which if you're changing tips all the time, is going to be worth its weight in gold. Only a couple of things I'd draw your attention to. First of all, it says no flat spot, so it rolls. Uh, for me, it would have been nice to have a flat spot opposite this, so that when you put it down, it stays in that position. Uh, it doesn't come with any kind of little sponge or holder that you can stick it in. By default, it naturally wants to sit on the table with the tip clear of the table anyway, so that's not going to be as big a problem. But I like to have it in some kind of holder when I'm using some kind of soldering iron, just to make sure that I don't accidentally catch it with me or part of a foam model, because that will make a mess very quickly. And the last thing, of course, is that this power adapter brick, as you saw in the unboxing, is a US style power brick. So if you want to use it anywhere else, then you're going to have to get an adapter. This does support uh, 100, 
240 volts at both 50 and 60 hertz so it will work on european and uk power supplies but obviously only if you can plug it into the wall so i just thought that'd be interesting for those of you that maybe have seen this and wonder what the changes were uh, the original iron is still a fantastic soldering iron but with these improvements uh, if you wanted to buy one now this is the one i would go for Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.